Hello everybody, today we're gonna discuss about Skiffy test using our studio. Uh, this method is used for testing uh, all pairwise comparison as well as uh, all non pairwise comparison of, of a treatment means. In other sense, this test is used to determine whether the mean score in one treatment group differs uh, from the mean score in the second treatment group or whether the mean score from one set of treatment groups uh, differ from the mean score for the second set of treatment uh, groups. And uh, in some situations, the Skiffy test is good technique for testing the statistical significance of uh, multiple uh, comparison. So, in other sense, it, it, tell you, it, it tells you that uh, it's not uh, so good for testing the pairwise comparison. And this method, that means the Skiffy test, has have its own advantage as well as disadvantage. Let's see the advantage first. Uh, this test uh, can be used to make all uh, possible uh, comparison among the treatment uh, mean. That means the pairwise comparison. Uh, that means involving of only two means and then pairwise comparison. Again, it's involving for what? For more than two uh, means. So the first advantage is what? It helps to test or it can be used for all possible comparison among the treatment means that means both the pairwise as well as the non-pairwise comparison the second one is this test is uh, helps to save the error rate uh, family wise equal to the uh, uh, to a significance level of alpha that is specified by you that means by the researcher or by the uh, experimenter the other advantage of uh, scaphy test is it can be used with uh, unequal sample size among the groups and this test provides a more uh, sensitive test of non pairwise comparison than some other post hoc test procedures like uh, Take uh, honest significance difference test and uh, the other advantage is for for instance let's say when an experiment calls for many plan comparison the risk of uh, getting or the risk of type 1 error can be unacceptably high so under such situations, the uh, SCAFI test uh, helps to control the error rate in a family-wise. That, that means it may be a good alternative to tests that are uh, normally used for uh, a plant comparison. Let's come into the let's come to the disadvantage uh, of SCAFI test, and uh, there are several so, several things to uh, dislike these uh, methods. The, the first one is this test has lower statistical power than the tests that are designed for what for a plant uh, comparison. And the second one is uh, let's say for testing pairwise comparison the Skiffy test is less sensitive uh, comparing to other post hoc procedures like Taki on a significant difference. So uh, a good way to increase the power of the scaphy test is to have or to you have to use a large uh, sample size. So most of the statisticians are advised us to use uh, a scaphy test you know, for uh, such things. The first one is uh, for post hoc testing. That means it only makes sense to use scaphy test after a significant uh, omnibus analysis of variance. So. If the analysis of variance does not provide evidence of significant difference among the means, there is uh, no need to conduct uh, the follow-up test looking for uh, those differences. And the second one that they advise is that for a post hoc testing of many comparisons, it makes sense of to use Skippy test. For a post hoc uh, testing of only a few comparisons, uh, yes, it, is, uh, it helps us to a uh, Benforoni correction that might be uh, the better uh, choice. And uh, the other uh, advice that uh, uh, the statistician give to us is that, let's say for a posterior testing. So, Skiffy testing uh, can be an acceptable choice when 
the researcher or when the experiment calls for the test of many comparisons. That means when there are many comparisons to be tested, a skiffy test may be considered as a self technique because uh, compared to the other methods, it provides a reasonable balance between the uh, control type 1 error and uh, risk of uh, type 2 uh, error. So, this is uh, the, uh, all about the SCAFI test uh, definition and also its advantage and disadvantage. So let's go to analysis. And in order to analysis a SCAFI test, which is uh, based on the agricultural package, so run to your studio. And in order to save our time, I already imported my data. My data name here is S2, it's contain replication treatment and pH. So let's call uh, here if you if your the, the the value of treatment is not factor, so you have to convert using the function as dot factor. So by using this syntax and submit to our studio, then let's press the linear model. Here is analysis of variance. Here is the planted uh, as uh, explained by treatment and replication. So this means uh, by default our design is random complete block design and our data name is S2. So type this and submit to our studio. Then uh, let's compare uh, using uh, here is uh, pairwise comparison. As you know that CFI, SCIFI, uh, test helps us to compare uh, the all non pairwise as well as pairwise comparison. So you have to use the skiffy.test function. Here is the model that we created here and it will be categorized under the, uh, the treatment. And here is a group is called so true control is called so true and you can give the title for your analysis. So type this one and submit to your studio. So you will get uh, such type of uh, result. So here is the uh, all the pairwise uh, comparison. But if you want to uh, further to analyze the non pairwise comparison or multiple comparison, you have to call here is a package what is called desk tools. So type this and submit to your studio. And then simply use the skiffy test. Here is skiffy dot test, but here is a skiffy test. Then type your model here what you created here. So type this and submit to your studio. So it will display. Uh, all uh, non pairwise comparison. As you see here, let's say for example, uh, treatment 12 with control is highly significant, 9 with 0 is highly significant, 6 with 0 is significant, uh, highly significant still, and here is 9 with 3 is with one asterisk, so it is also it is significant, but when you're comparing this 12 treatment, 12 with 6 is not significant. So by this way, you can also do a multiple comparison of the means using the family-wise confidence level interval. So this is all about the uh, SCIFI uh, test. So if you have any question regarding to my tutorial, you can address me through my email, wabijaratasfahun at gmail. Uh, sorry, at uh, gmail.com as well as uh, YouTube uh, comment box. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.